It's the moment you've all been waiting for your whole life. That's right, it's time to buy your first car. But wait, you only have 5,000 bucks to spend? No problem. We're gonna tell you about eight different cars that will fit into your budget. I'm telling you, we're gonna make your jaw drop when you see what we're gonna bring to the table. One car on this list is used to beat out Mustangs and Camaros at the drag strip. And we've even found a sweet BMW for under three grand that heck, I would buy. So if you're looking for the perfect car to commute to and from school or your girlfriend's house, keep watching, cause we got gotcha. you. Here are some great first cars for students under 5K. Let's go. If you were looking for the perfect first car to cruise to school in, it's definitely worth considering the Mazda 3. This car is built to be your right-hand man all through high school, college, and beyond. It's durable, gets good gas mileage, and is super cheap to repair. And it looks a whole lot better than any other car you're gonna find for under five grand. Well, there are a couple on this list that are pretty good looking too, but this is a good looker. And the base model three is an absolutely great reliable car that's perfect for commuting to and from school. But hey, we're all about leveling up. So why not look at the Mazda 3S Touring? Yeah, it's still under 5K. And while the base three gets 144 horses, the Touring tacks on another 12, bringing it up to 100 and the touring trim also has a ton more cabin and cargo space, which will definitely come in handy when you and all your friends pile into it to go on some weekend adventures. And I don't think you're the only one that's gonna be into this car because your mom and pop will be too, because it's got some top-notch safety features that'll keep their little baby safe and sound on the road. Automatic locking retractors, airbags galore, and a smart crash sensor. This whip is as safe as they come. And check out this low mile Mazda 3 Touring that we found for under 5K. And if you want one or any of the cars on this list, we've linked to my favorite of each car using Auto Tempest down in the description and the first comment. So definitely go check out your favorite and be sure to use the ideal car strategies when you're looking to buy one, especially this next one, because it's from a car brand that you really don't see anymore. And yet it's very unique and sleek, baby. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yes, Scion, which is Toyota's discontinued brand that was marketed towards kind of the younger demographic, built one hell of a car. And although they're gone, they're not forgotten because the Scion TC is a wonderful set of wheels. And it's the perfect car for anyone getting their first set of keys. And I have to say, cause I've spent some time behind the wheel of one, it's a lot of fun to drive. And yet it's safe, it performs great in handling and acceleration. And with its 240 horsepower four cylinder with a finely tuned transmission, it is a hoot to drive. And it'll cost you no more than 5K. Plus it's got a big sunroof that's perfect for romancing with your high school sweetheart under the night sky. And while the design language of the TC is modest and classy, anywhere that you pull up in one sends the message that you have great taste. And as good as the exterior looks, the interior isn't something that you bat an eye at either because the dashboard on this car is beautiful. And if you're gonna buy a TC, you wanna get the engine thoroughly inspected because back in 2007, they did have an engine recall. And if you find one that runs the right way, it's a Toyota, so it's gonna last you a lifetime. And what's awesome is you can find decent TCs for way under your budget, like this silver base model with under 100,000 miles. And it may be my top pick, but the next car on this list has something to say about that because it's another Japanese driving machine that provides some serious luxury at pocket change prices. And if you're looking for a sporty first car and you're willing to sacrifice some gas mileage, then look no further. The Acura TSX is a luxury sports sedan with some serious power for the price. And yes, for under five grand, this little powerhouse comes with four letters that's synonymous with power. Well, because of Fast and Furious franchise. VTEC. It has a 2.4 liter VTEC engine that revs up 205 horsepower. And while it is attached to an automatic transmission, it does have sport shift capabilities. Plus the gas mileage isn't all that bad at 28 miles per gallon on the highway. So you can kind of have your cake and eat it too, I guess. And on the interior, the TSX gives up absolutely nothing. It's got a slam and speaker system, Bluetooth wireless connectivity, a satellite radio included, unless you live in Hawaii or Alaska, but regardless 
regardless of where you live, the TSX includes a host of safety features, including a trunk anti-trap device in case someone tries to keep you hostage in your trunk of your own car. And hopefully that uh, never happens to you or me. But hey, if it does, at least you know your TSX has got you covered. Now, because they're such good road cars, people tend to put a lot of miles on them. So it's harder to find a lower mileage example. But <laughs> we found a few. Like this silver TSX for five grand, that looks the part. And the next car is one that if you wanna blend in, well, you probably see them pretty much every single day. But its popularity isn't unwarranted because it is perfect for first time drivers. Since about the year 2000, there has been what seems like an unrestrained flood of Honda Civics on the road. Although these days you may associate the Civic with your middle-aged neighbor that walks the cat while you're on vacation, which is kind of weird, but okay. And from 1996 until 2000, the Civic was considered a badass Japanese drag machine. That's right, when the car first hit the market around that time period, enthusiasts really took a liking to the smaller, more lightweight VTEC powered Econobox as an alternative to the bulkier V8 powered American muscle cars of the time. Believe it or not, the Civic was taking on Camaros and Corvettes at the drag strip and it was winning. What? Yes, it was kicking ass. So promise me this, before you make any assumptions about the Civic, get behind the wheel of one and tell me that it doesn't have the kick you're looking for. And yes, I agree, it's not a supercar, but it's a lot more fun than I think you give it credit for. Plus, it costs next to nothing, it's safe and reliable, and a hell of a lot of fun to drive. Now, you've been warned that the market on these is fairly competitive, and you may need lady luck on your side to find a good example before they're sold. But we found a few with decent miles, clean titles, and in good Good condition under your budget. And next up, we have a great car for a first time buyer with, in my opinion, one of the worst names on the market. Yes, we're talking about the Toyota Yaris. And am I crazy or is this just an awful name for anything, much less a car? Yaris just, it kind of sounds like a dirty word, like something that you kind of scrape off the bottom of your shoe. But anyway, despite the god awful name, this car is actually a phenomenal purchase for all you students looking to buy a new car. Well, a new car for you. It's super compact, gets great gas mileage, and best of all, it fits into pretty much any parking spot and pretty much any budget. And if you find a Yaris that's been driven that little, it's gonna last you forever because these cars are super reliable. They're Toyotas. But I will say that the styling is a bit weird. But if you could care less about the looks and you wanna save some cash on gas, the whip gets 35 miles to the gallon on the highway. Not bad at all. Unfortunately, this is due in part to the fact that the Yaris only has a 106 horsepower 1.5 liter motor. And this thing is pretty much an easy bake oven of an engine. But hey, it's cheap, it's reliable, and it's fuel efficient. And yes, it's not great for your budding racing career, but definitely great for your wallet. And although it's underpowered, it's also underpriced. And you can grab a fun little first car for just $4,300 like this black Yaris. And our next car is definitely not missing the mark in terms of style or performance for that matter. See, when people here in the USA see someone driving a Bimmer, they immediately assume that they spent the big bucks on it. But truth be told, you don't have to. For under 25,000 bucks, you could be sitting behind the wheel of a 2006 BMW 325i. And at that price, it's gonna blow your mind the kind of quality you're in for. We're talking a beautiful combination of sporty performance and practicality, all wrapped up in that beautiful BMW luxury. This car is more agile than a jungle cat, turning, accelerating, and stopping with ease and without sacrificing even the slightest bit of driver comfort. And of course, when you're buying a BMW, you expect to get some sweet tech features. And back in 2006, which is a few years ago now, the 325i was blowing people away with the active steering system, which believe it or not, actually turns the front wheels without the driver having to do anything. It's like a mind reader or something. But the technology was put in place so that you don't have to worry about drifting out of your lane. The 325i also features bi-xenon headlights and high-tech cruise control that will apply the brakes if you start going too fast downhill. Overall, to get all this value for such little cash is insane. And if you're a first time car buyer in the market right now, maybe you should pen a thank you note to BMW for building the 325i. Now for five grand, you're looking at a three series with at least six figures on the clock. And if the thought of a 110,000 mile German sedan scares you, well, maybe it should. Although if it's had routine maintenance and you get a pre-purchase inspection before you buy it, it can be a great first car. Just like this next German 
and drive train that will make you smile when you're driving it, even if you're driving to jury duty. In the past decade or so, Volkswagen has proven itself to be a fantastic all-around automaker, and the Jetta SE is among some of its finest work. This car excels in almost every category imaginable. It gets 33 highway miles to the gallon. Its cabin is spacious and equipped with an easy to use high-tech interface. And most people that own a Jetta SE have zero, yes, zero problems with it year after year. And it is the first car I've ever driven that has not a single feature. And while it's not packing a supercharged V8, well, no first car should, it does put out 170 healthy horses with a 2.5 liter S SEFI engine, which, you know, is pretty respectable. And when you pop the door, the Jetta SC feels like a full-on luxury vehicle. And its handling is pure German and some of the best in its class. And I bet you'll be smiling as you're driving down the road thinking about all the performance and luxury that you found for under 5K. And if you think that this is your first ideal car, we definitely recommend that you get the soft plush interior instead of the hard leather that they tried to replace it with. Sure, leather, looks way better. But if you're gonna have your butt sit on something for hour after hour multiple times a week, wouldn't you want it to be comfortable? And looky here, an SE model Jetta with under 100K on the clock and just slightly over budget. But we're pretty sure that if you use the ideal car strategies, you're gonna get it for under 5K. And to switch gears a little bit, the next car on this list is a spacious SUV. It's not a car at all. And it's from a company that's known for luxury and quality. Yes, specifically Lexus luxury, baby. And I know we're always talking about it, but that's because it's the real deal. And the RX 300 is certainly no exception. And there's quite a few reasons why the wealthy choose to buy the upscale Toyota brand. But you don't have to be wealthy to own one of these today because the RX 300, it's an incredible value. First, the V6 front engine churns out 220 horsepower, which is more than enough to get you from point A to B in a hurry. Plus, on the inside, Lexus Luxury. It's stitched up with some of the super comfortable leather that we've come to know and love. Plus you get cabin space a ton of cabin space. Now it does lack compared to some of the other cars on this list in gas mileage at only 22 miles per gallon, but that's not bad for an SUV. And do note that the RX 300 is available in both front wheel and four wheel drive configurations. And while the four wheel drive is gonna cost you a little bit more, we definitely suggest you go for that trim level because with all wheel drive, you can really go rip in the snow. And the RX 300 is definitely a home run for your first car. And for 5K, you can find RX 300s pretty regular Regularly. Just expect higher mileage than you're used to seeing, but it's a freaking Toyota with a Lexus badge. It's just getting started. So what is your ideal first car? Is it something we covered on this list or did we not mention it? Let us know down below. Also, if you enjoyed the vid, hit the like button. And if you're new here, I'm Brad Danger. This is Ideal. And please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, because we're throwing the heat at you pretty much every single day. That's all I got for you guys for now. Go check out another video on the channel and keep living the ideal lifestyle, baby.